Hello! Statuses are for sucker tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 1 for the Super Nintendo, the remake fan translation. And it's me, Blue Ankylo, still live with the YouTube chat. Um, in between episodes, I got some gold. I got lots of gold for killing Goldman. We tried sleep every time and it never worked, not even a single time. So sleep status has been debunked, it is garbage. It's always, never, never tell Blue to use status spells in any game ever, because they don't work. Maybe they work for you. In fact, I don't mean to disagree that in your games, your poison, slow, paralyzed, sleep, yada yada, all works just perfectly. But for me, they never work. So that's just, that's just the way, way it works. Anyway, um, let's buy some armor. So the second best armor in the game, the best armor you can buy, the magic armor. I would like to equip it. So there's very few things left to actually shop for, and the things that we have that we could shop for are very expensive. Um, there's one better sword and one better shield, but uh, we're not going to be buying those anytime soon. So uh, how's our stats looking, basically? We got 66 attack, 63 defense, level 12. We are probably getting pretty close to level 13 because I did... Uh, kill quite a few enemies in between episodes, so we got a fair bit of experience. I wouldn't be surprised if that ticks up pretty soon. I think we take another stab at that green dragon, although I should buy some keys before I go up there. Also, I should show you the, um, there's one more thing to show off while we're at Rimmeldor. There's a cave to the south that I still haven't shown off on camera, so we should at least go down there. And that sort of wraps up everything we can do on the east side of the map for now, assuming we can kill that dragon. And we've got some clarification in the chat that the gold man had a 20% 20, 20 resistance to sleep on the NES version. So if it's the same, then me missing five or six in a row is a little bit, you know, LP or luck. It's the blue luck. Um, I would suggest that maybe it's more like an 80% or 90% resistance when I'm playing. It The game recognizes that I am the current Let's Player or the current person with the controller. And it immediately, it immediately like squares or, or cubes every resistance of every enemy in the game automatically. That's that's probably how it does it. Because uh, the video games, they're getting so advanced, the AI now they can tell who's playing. All right, this time we'll see where we're going. And of course, this time if we die to the green dragon. Uh, I'm not out any gold, I'll just be out, well, I'll be out like 300 gold or something, plus a key. I'm still hopeful that I might get a level up on the walk over, but I have not memorized what level ups, what experience marks every level up in this game, because that would be insane. Only a speedrunner would do something like that. Alright. Green Dragon, I've come to bargain. Oh yeah, because we're wearing the magic armor, in case it hasn't been clarified, uh, we should heal 1 HP every 3 steps, although that was what it was in the original at least. And I believe the armor... does it make you immune to stop spell, or is that Erdrich's armor? I think it might be Erdrich's armor that does that. Erdrich's armor does a bunch of stuff. Magic armor might just be a little bit of healing. Alright. Fight it out. Four steps. All right, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna try again. It didn't work because it never works. Never use status. So I'm just gonna heal up every time I get to around under thirty. I'll say. I should be safe as long as I'm healing. Oops, no, no. Assu assuming I hit the right button. Actually, because I've got so much total HP, I can heal up when I go under 40, and it's safer. If I had to heal more spell, I would, you know, want my HP to get a little bit lower, because I could heal to full. But, uh... The heal 1 spell, like the low-level heal, it only heals you, like, 20 to 30, I think. 
But I don't believe the dragon will have enough HP to survive this for too long. And I should be able to heal through most of his attacks for quite a while. Like, we've got 11 more heal spells. Taking some damage. There we go. We got him. I probably could have beat him the first time if I'd been a little bit more conservative with my uh, my healing. Mind you, I do have better armor, so we took a little bit less damage from physicals this time around. Also, there's your level. 950 experience, hey? Metal Slimes used to give you 255, I think, and they were the highest XP in the game. Um, 950, not bad. That's a lot of experience and a lot of stats. Good stuff. All right. Hey, princess. Oh, at last, a valiant hero. My name is actually Gwalyn. I'm from actually Tantagel. She would have, like, she wasn't worried. Like, she, she's actually, you gotta say, she's got a pretty good room for a dark cave. She's got a table, a chair, a very fancy bedroom, uh, like a bed. The dragon probably, I don't know, kept her... I probably fed her and stuff, I guess. I don't know. She just didn't want to get married to the dragon. You pick up the princess. Oh, Blue! We'll be so happy together! Smooch! There you go, guys. That's how you get a girlfriend. Just beat up a dragon and rescue her from a tower slash cave with an extravagant um, bed in it. And uh, you're fine. Thou must. Yeah, but thou must. You can't say no. And who needs a shield? You just carry the princess around and fight with your sword on your other hand. I was hoping you'd say no. Yeah, this is the classic but thou must game. There's no such thing as saying no to anyone. Except for one person. I guess we'll talk about that when we get there. Alright, there's nothing... You know, why am I even messing around? We could walk all the way, but I'm lazy. Alright, princess. You know, usually the outside spell takes you to the top of the two caves, too. This is probably a change in the remake, because I believe in the original you always go to the top cave when you use the outside spell. Limitations of the NES and all that. Anyway, much faster. We'll just magic our way home. Anybody want to say anything? Oh my, you saved the princess! Oh my! Is it, or is it like a, oh my? Could we like, hold on, hold on, before we drop her off. Sorry princess, we got one more stop before we turn you over to the king. Yeah! <laughs> That's two! <laughs> Alright. I hope you had a good night. Uh-huh. Thanks, everybody. Alright, now we can take you to the king. <laughs> he can't have fun with the ancient old Dragon Quest game. <laughs> I mean... The green dragon literally killed me once. So, it's only fair that I get some sort of reward. <laughs> Talk to the girlfriend? Actually. Okay. I gotta go introduce the new girlfriend to the old girlfriend. That's fair. That's fair. You got me. Gotta tie up the loose threads. I gotta dump her while I'm carrying the princess around, basically. She doesn't even notice. Okay, new plan. Fine. Twist my arm. We're getting a lot of value out of this this inn. All right. We. Sh I think I'm getting tired, man. This guy's gonna need a break. He's like, okay, that's enough with women. You guys, everybody, drop her off. Everyone go home. It's time for some solo adventuring after all this. He's worn out. Alright, King, take her. She's a maniac. 
Ah, Blue! Well, you've returned with the, from rescuing the princess. Eventually. It's been a few days since they said you've rescued her. I wish to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Gwaylin! Come to my side. Gwaylin hands you a token of her love. The princess's love. The dude laying down at his post is gonna hate you forever. <laughs> I love you, Blue. This is my love. Please accept it. Even if we're separated, my heart will always be with you. I guess we're not going solo ever again. Thanks. Smooches everywhere. Alright. Princess is rescued. Oh! Well, we don't have to anymore, do we? <laughs> See, that's the difference between, like, North American releases and Japanese releases. They would never have let this fly in an official Nintendo release. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Good times. Good times. Princess is rescued. Erdrick. Well, we're only the descendant of Erdrick, but we're, we're laying the foundation of the next generation already. So, uh, the thing is, we did get the princess's love, or Gwaylin's love. And if you use it, you can hear her from anywhere in the world. To reach the next level, you need some experience points. And she tells you where the castle is, which sounds pointless, but maybe there's a use for that in a while. Hope you're safe, Four Blue. Did I put a four at the beginning of my name? Well, if you've got legendary hero blood, you want to make sure there's multiple uh, successors in the future. There was a, a question, of course, about this guy. Who is that touching me? I can't see or hear anything. Wow, he's just been lying there for weeks while we did our adventure. Still alive, but blind and deaf. I guess we could have taken the princess over to see him, but psh, she was too busy. Well, uh, <clears throat> all right, so let's continue our adventure then. Do I, I don't have the repel spell, of course not. We've got outside and return, but no repel. So we're just going to speed through some of these slimes, because they're not worth any time. It's not worth it. If I'd bought some holy water, which I could have, I could have avoided some fights here. But anyway, this is as far as we needed to get. Now we've got another bridge. This is the only area, this is the only direction we haven't explored yet. Oh, a different guy lying down in castle? Well, they're all laying down half dead because the princess is missing. So... Can't, can't blame me. So this area isn't too bad. There was not really any reason to come here unless you wanted to go to this cave over this way, which is... I'm always a little bit scared of caves because you never know like how long it will be to get through. But now that we've got outside, we could probably clear this cave fairly safely. Or at least escape if we have a hard time. Before we head down that way, uh, I will show you kind of the next dangerous area, just for interest. And hello, Sneezemus Prime. Glad to hear it. I'm glad you've enjoyed. We'll just quickly kill off a couple ghosts. But yeah, this bridge is probably the most dangerous bridge in the game, because you can get here pretty early on fighting ghosts and stuff, but as soon as you cross over this way, BAM! Wolf Mammals! The most dangerous mammal you ever saw. Uh, this is not what I was referring to. Um, I mean, it's, it's it's all good that they're here, but no, it's... Well, gold man, I mean, that's nice. We're not going to try to put any more gold men to sleep, in case you're wondering. S sleep statuses are now off-limits for the rest of my life. It's damage or nothing. Damage or go home. Not that I really need the money right now. Anyway, this is the desert of everyone dies, basically. So... It's really not much more dangerous than the area south of Remoldar, but it's a lot easier to get to. And there are enemies around here that are stronger than Chimeras. Uh, Chimeras are now more of a mid-tier for this zone, rather than top tier. You need to be past the mountains. Is it... I thought it was basically that bridge, but it's always around here where it gets dangerous. And to be fair, the remake does seem to rearrange some of the encounter zones a little bit. Uh, some of the stuff seems to be slightly differently laid out than um, the NES version. Usually I'd be running into demon knights and the other knights, just the armored knights around here. Well, 
not the enemy called Armored Knight, but, you know, the guy with plate armor, basically. So, yes, this is the town of whatever the name of it is. And we could try. And this is the one where Sleep Spell, this is, I have heard that before. Star Chimeras are going to be pretty tough. I'm not really interested in that. Now, technically, we weren't actually told terribly well what we need to do here. Um, I, Hawkness, that's the name of it. That's the correct name. In Catlin, there's someone that tells you a little bit more about exploring uh, one of the shops or something. Or, or we, we met one person that mentioned that his father or something or whoever talked to the innkeeper of this town. Uh, but there's someone who mentions that there was some legendary armor behind one of these towns. These guys are pretty tough, too. That's hurt more, essentially. I think it's... Actually, I don't know where... That's not good, either. Not interested. Oh, is this, is this the tile? This might be the actual tile. I know where it is in Dragon Warrior, but this this might be it. If I go through all this trouble and this is not the right tile, I'm going to be mad. Didn't work. He casts sleep! Oh, I forgot about that. We're dead. <laughs> I forgot that those guys actually had the sleep spell. Well, let's not come back here for a while. That's, that's a bit rude. <laughs> I don't really care about losing the money or anything, but it's... It's a bit of a walk. <laughs> sure, we'll save it, whatever. Alright, let's 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 go to the mountain cave, because that's the next clear zone to go to anyway. Other than trying to work our way to Catlin, which is also guarded by a dangerous monster. Um, I don't really want to do that either just yet. I really would like to get the heal more spell before I deal with those kinds of things, like well, Axe Knights and, uh, Golems. Stop spell and sleep? Yeah, that might work. Too many things. I hate you. What have I got? I just got too many key items. We don't need this anymore. I'm sure we'll learn the Repel spell fairly soon, but... You know, honestly, for the amount of time it took to buy this, I probably could just ran away. Does this version have a higher level cap? I don't know. It sort of feels like I've been learning spells a little bit slower than normal, but I'm not 100% sure. This is, I think, the first time... That didn't even last very long, that sucked. Uh, I think this is the first time I've ever, f like plan to fully clear this uh, remake version. I usually just play Dragon Warrior 1, and uh, so I'm way more familiar with the NES version. Yeah, Heal More spell is what you generally need to deal with the tough bosses. Until you've got that, the hard bosses are, well, pretty much, maybe not impossible, but they will rely on something like Sleep Hitting or Stop Spell Hitting, and that sucks. Heal More can't miss. Okay, let's get some vision. Oh man, do I remember this dungeon at all? Not really. Well, we'll go... We'll go north first. I'll probably get lost. You have to forgive me. Yeah, the, the, the original battle music was simple, but definitely ominous. The, uh, the music, like the, 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 the game's music composer was definitely on track with getting a lot of sort of feeling out of the NES. I'm often, like, I, I probably said it many times, but I'm quite often amazed at just how much you could get away with from a good composer on NES hardware. Like, they did some amazing tracks for how few instruments and just, they just don't have a lot of options. The remake of the cave is the mountain cave is well. That's good. If the if the if the remake has a different m layout, then I'm gonna get really lost. I'm trying to kind of clockwise map out the corners to a, some degree. Uh, I feel like this might be the staircase I normally head towards. 
Just a dead end. Okay, that was not correct. But we've cleared out one dead end, so that's probably good. A lake? I don't think this was here in the original. These, uh... Oh, look, I found a treasure chest. Not very invaluable, though. To save some time, I'll do little frame jumps, just to save speed things up a little bit. It's not like a, a boring mage is going to give us any trouble. We're going to need more, di more, more dangerous enemies than these to pose a real challenge. It's possible that we should have done this dungeon before the Grave of Garen. Uh, I just, I could never remember the, the ordering of caves like that. If I remember correctly, in the NES version, there was almost no reason to come to the mountain cave at all. Um, was there any actual reason to come here? Probably not. There's no key items or anything, as far as I know. Okay, now we're getting stronger enemies. A little bit more worth my time. The fighter's ring, did that actually do anything though? I think it was bugged. Unless you, uh... Unless you're playing a patched ROM or something that fixes it. I know it was supposed to give you two strength or something, but I... I have a feeling it didn't in the original. I've been watching a fair number of the, uh... Dragon Quest 1 randomizer, and that's one of the things they always talk about is how they fix stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, this is the Dragon Warrior 1 solo challenge. A strength seed, well that's not bad. That's something that wasn't in the original for sure. Two, probably not a great roll, but that's alright. Cursed belt or death knell, right, some money that you could sell. Probably by the time you could get them, you could have just gone and fight a gold man and you'd be fine. And a magic nut. Yeah, this is definitely more valuable because these are permanent stat upgrades, even if they're not that important. And you could probably save and reload until you got the max roll on those things. If you cared. <laughs> Metro Ghost. Sorry, Metro Ghost. This looks important. The Warrior's Ring. Alright, well I bet you it works in this version. So we are... 71 attack, 51 strength. It did nothing. <laughs> Unless it has some hidden effect like... Higher crit chance or higher evasion chance. It looks like it did nothing once again. What a shame. If someone can confirm if the Warrior's Ring does nothing in the remake, you let me know. But I certainly didn't see any statistical changes. Unless it was like... Well, I only looked at strength. It could have changed my HP or something. Still bugged, even in the remake. That is just so dumb. Why would you remake a game from scratch and still have the same bug? Uh, what else is in here? There, there's gotta be, yeah, at least one more chest. It's supposed, well, it's not supposed to be anything. In... The, the, the modders have modded it to be two attack in Dragon Warrior 1 on the NES. But it doesn't look like it does anything in any of the original games. Oh, that's a waste of time. No. Look at all these treasure chests. Some more money. That's not very valuable anymore. I guess if you came here before going to Ramoldar, that would have helped save up a little bit of money for, you know, the, the Iron Sword or the Steel Sword or whatever, and a couple things. That's the stairs I took to get to this floor, I believe. 
Yeah, the death necklace the death necklace is probably that chest in the center that I can't get to yet. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to take another staircase down to get there. Now that'll be cursed. I'm not sure if that's gonna have any value either. Yeah, so I got to that room. Try not to get too lost here, but it's tough. The higher the encounter rate, the harder it is to keep track. This room in there, that's probably the death necklace if I can get to it. Yeah, if it's worth a lot of- oh, I just missed a loop. Oh, it's an iron shield! Wrong completely! Uh, now the question is, do I have anything space? Wow. Well, the iron shield is 800 normally, so I could sell it for 600. I think it's 75% you sell for? Either 400 or 600 I could sell it for. Um, <laughs> I should not have picked up all this quest junk at the beginning, because now I don't have any room. I guess I don't really care about 600 gold. It's one fight against a gold man. So I never found the death necklace. I may have found everything else though, possibly. I mean, I like to be thorough, but this dungeon is kind of pointless. The warrior's ring didn't do anything. If the rest of the items are just for selling, it's not that good either. Uh, I hit another dead end. Mm, I gotta go all the way around back again. I just wish for such a long winding dungeon there was something actually useful in here. Like, for the remake, they could have added, like, an Erdrick shield and put it somewhere hidden down here. Oh, maybe there was... I don't know. Isn't there two death necklaces originally? I could be done in this dungeon, I don't know. To be honest, I kind of want to get out of here anyway pretty soon. You know what? If you guys ever look it up, you let me know. I'm not terribly miffed though. If I miss something in this in this cave, that's fine. If it's something that's useful, just let me know at some point and I'll go back. But I, I remember, as a general rule, I never spent very much time in that cave because there wasn't anything that actually did anything. Oh, the belt! The cursed belt. Right, right, right. Yeah, there's. There, I think there's two death necklaces and one cursed belt normally. One of the death necklaces is in the Dragon Lord's treasury, and the other one may be in the Grave of Garen. And then if the cursed belt's in the in the uh, mountain cave, that sums up all the items. Thanks, Carmack. See you later. Have a good day and all that. Okay, so what are we gonna do? I'm too weak to have a good chance against the Armored Knight. This guy might be kind of dangerous too. Uh, originally the Rogue Scorpion. Nine damage isn't bad. I can hit for 12. That's okay. Not bad. Those guys have, like, pretty good defense, so sometimes they're a little scary. I think what I really should do is just, in this desert, get a level up or two before I try to get anywhere further. These guys are going to be pretty tough, for instance. I should be able to kill them by now. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Two hits. But I believe they're the ones with high evasion, so... You know. I'll do a few fights. If I get to level 14, I'll consider that pretty successful. The trouble is, I can't get to the next town without a big boss fight. And I'm not super confident about that fight right now. So I kind of want to get a little stronger. Wow, I'm strong. Thanks, Jade Wolf. <laughs> strong enough to kill a death scorpion. 
If you're really lucky, somewhere around here you can start finding metal slimes as well. Hey, level up! That's what we want. Strength 8, speed 6, vitality 3, HP. That's a good level up. Very good stats. I do have the fairy flute. I've got all the key items that we can get up to this point. So, it's just a matter of making sure I'm strong enough to kill the golem. Uh, and I might be there by now. I was really hoping I would learn, like, the heal more or something, but I don't know what level we learn heal more at. I feel like the remake has probably delayed some spells. Because we're level 14 and I'm still missing four spells. I don't even have... I don't even have repel. If I can find metal slimes... Yeah, demon knights, that's the, uh... The knight I killed down here, the undead knight. This guy is the old school demon knight. I believe. Because I was fighting these in, in another area. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. They're not the Wraith Knights. And they don't have any healing magic, so they're... Or no, there you go. This will be it. There's just too many undead. So whether or not I can kill these might be questionable. We'll see. 24 damage. This is gonna hurt. At least I can kill them in two hits. But I need to be at, like, full health all the time. Oops. Now, I do have the magic armor, so we regenerate a little bit, but it's pretty slow. I was hoping I'd find a metal slime, just to show it off. Yeah, it has high evasion, which makes it a bit sketchy, but two hits is good. I have a feeling it's one of those, um, the remakes are a little bit easier. Like, maybe the, uh, the average stat growth is better in the remake. I'm only at 79 attack. I don't think that's very high, actually. I think maybe the enemies just have lower defense or something. I wouldn't mind seeing a metal slime, so I'm trying to explore a little bit further south. So I guess these are the pink ones, so they do have the heal spell. Not bad. Hey, an Armor Knight! I was looking for these guys, too. Usually a bit easier than Demon Knights, though, so that's not bad. Yeah, two hits is really good. I wonder if I should give another attempt at uh, Erdrick's Armor. You know what I could do is, now that I've got Gwaylin's, oops, Gwaylin's Love... I don't like Star Wyverns. If they've got heal more, they can waste so much time. To reach the next level, 1800 experience. Hmm. That's a fair bit of a grind for one more level up. I would really like to get Erdrick's armor, though. Because then we could ignore stuff like Stop Spell and... A lot of the... We just take a lot less damage in general. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, Star Wyverns are probably better for experience, but anything that can cast heal more on itself is just such a troll. I would almost never want to grind on them until I can two-shot them, like, consistently. I've also probably made enough money by now that I don't want to die terribly badly. 5,000 gold. It's not a ton, but we're, we're working our way towards a silver shield or a flame sword. Heal more at 17? That's the level then? I could never remember what levels... Heal more is sort of what I was holding out for, because I know that will make the golem a lot safer. I'm also pretty sure I have more HP myself than you traditionally had at this level in the original game. Cracking into the hundreds at like level 14, 15 seems pretty high. Pretty pretty quick. Terrific move. So sadly, no sign of metal slimes around here. They may have been relocated. I mean, they were always a relatively rare encounter anyway, but... I definitely remember running into them around here fairly consistently. 
So the remake is Japanese only, so if you wanted to actually buy the cartridge, you'd have to get an import off of wherever, and then you'd have to, it'd be really hard, because you'd have to have a cartridge reader, and then you have to apply a, a patch to change it to uh, English, and it'd be a real hassle. Normally, you would just get a ROM and do it like that. But, you know, I don't want to get into the piracy emulation discussion too much. So this is an area that I normally don't grind in, but I figured we can walk this way while I'm just testing stuff. Just testing the water. Probably have to warp back to Tantagil pretty soon, though. How much is return in this game? Eight. So yeah, I gotta save eight MP to get out of here. Hey, look! We found one! It'll probably run away, given my luck, but we might as well try. Nothing. One damage. I'm pretty sure we have to do three. Nope. No luck. But at least we know the area where we might run into them now. Magic Chimera. These guys should be okay. Well, no, they've got the sleep spell, but I don't think they're going to hit that hard. Uh, they won't have heal more. They're not Star Wyverns, basically. Do I still play Terraria? No, I haven't played Terraria in, in years. I just got burned out, and then I haven't really been in the mood for a Terraria-style game since then. I tried Starbound for a while, but I just couldn't get into it. Killer Wolf! We're probably okay. Well, that'll help. I don't remember Wolf Lords being too bad, but you never know. Definitely getting into a more dangerous area of the of the map. If we go north, we'll probably hit Star Wyverns for sure. How close am I to that level up? Because I was really seeing if I could hold out. 400. I think we can make it. That'd be a werewolf? Yeah, that's right. Wolf, wolf, lord, werewolf. You got it. They're wolf mammals now. Throwing me off. Oh, come on. Don't be like that, Armor Knight. Probably could have dealt 20 damage there. I could have died. Shoot! I'm not going to have quite enough healing, I don't think. I Because I want to be able to return back to the castle. That's my last heal spell. And I can't even hold any herbs right now. So we need, like, really easy battles so I can get 400 experience. And that is not the one for that. We need, like, a metal slime right now. Maple Story? I've played one of them. Maybe the original. But yeah, I seem to remember, like, it was fun for a while, but it eventually gets to a point where you have to grind worse than the original Dragon Warrior 1, and that was, like, not fun anymore. Come on, I just need a little bit more luck. These Armored Knights do too much damage now. We're, we're done. Unless I get the level up right here. Shoot! I can't risk another fight because I'll lose my money. And I'm probably like one or two fights away. Shh! So close! Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh well. I could have risked it. I could have tried uh, like one or two more fights to see if I could get that level up, but... I didn't want to push it. Oh, and I guess for the episodes, we're already at over 30 minutes, so we should probably end the episode again. So for those of you watching the, the video, uh, that's the end of, what, we're on episode 5 or so, I guess? That's gotta be the end of it. Next episode for you guys, we'll definitely be ready to fight, uh, well, probably go for the, how much money have I got? Almost enough for a flame sword. I'll probably go for the golem into Cantlin, and then we'll, uh... We'll deal with the, uh, the Erdrich's Armor special drop after that. So yeah, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time for more Dragon Quest 1.